My name is Abdul Kifli Abdulaziz Franklin. I was born and raised in Africa. I was working as a medical doctor for five years in a remote village called um, Peketoni and later on went on to become the, the assistant director of medical services at uh, Lamu County Hospital. So I'm gonna sing. So stabbed in the back with the uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the scissors and the last piece of the scissors remained inside. So we sent him to a CT scan, went to Malindi, uh, but they've been unable to remove that last fragment. The life story of the doctor in Kenya is a tragic one. They, 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 they begin experiencing a lot of death and suffering of normal people from the time they enter medical school. And uh, the case scenario is the same across the country. You have doctors who work absurd, absurd hours to serve their community, to serve the people of their country. They sacrifice themselves, they sacrifice their health, they sacrifice their families, they sacrifice, they sacrifice, uh, they put a lot on the line so that they can serve the underserved. So those are the two, those are the two areas where you're having challenges. Yeah. I used to run two hospitals at the same time. So you can imagine there were a lot of cases that were going on, there were emergency cases. And that one have occurred post um, Peketoni attack. Peketoni was attacked by the Al-Shabaab uh, in 2014. Uh, 80 percent, 80, uh, about uh, 60 people were killed, some of them my very good friends, uh, as well as young doctors who had been posted from, who were fresh from university, who were eager to work in a community that was loving. Uh, it was a wonderful community, it still is, and, uh, and, uh, and they were attacked for eight hours and there was a lot of death and destruction. I knew as a medical doctor throughout my experience that, 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 that the little knowledge I received in training was needed. That it needed someone to rise up and, uh, and to face the healthcare system and to train, to, train, to train everyone in terms of dealing with gunshot wounds, to, to, have, to have a better healthcare system delivered to the villages, better healthcare system delivered for the people. And it was at that moment that, uh, that I had a realization and seeing all those bodies on the streets of your friends, to hear, to be in that, to be in that particular area during the attack, the fears, the hopes, and to see a people rise after such an attack is, is an amazing thing that I think only very few people get to see in their lives.